Let me just show you how it works. Uh, it's based on a business scenario. And then we can go through the code and see how it's been done. Uh, like recently we had a, um, we had an ask to because we have a customizer that is behaving like a navigation uh, bar on top. Uh, that's not the real customizer. That's just a sample. But we had so many internal links in our intranet that inviting a guest user, whenever a guest user clicks on those internal links, he will go nowhere because he's not part of intranet. So the ask there was to just hide the whole cups customizer because uh, any external user will not be able to interact with links like those. Mm -hmm. here. And what you can see here is my customizer is over here where I'm pointing with the mouse and it has just two links. So that's a sample from the PMP samples. It's already contributed, uh, but it, it is very simple. This is it. Uh, but from what we can see here, I'm logged in with my tenant account and I'm part of that tenant. And here uh, on the on the right side, I'm logged in with my Gmail account. So, so unprofessional, but to show you that I'm external user to the very same site and I'm not seeing the customizer here. So external users will not see it, internal users will see it and it will contain some information from them. Uh, it's pretty, uh, the, the code is, is not much. So uh, I'm serving it from my local bench, but I will show you the code there. So in general, uh, the way to identify whether a user is external is to use a Microsoft Graph. So in the Microsoft Graph, we can retrieve the details uh, about the, the, the user. And in, in those details, there is something that's called user, user principal name. And uh, in that user principal name uh, key, there is a value that contains the email, uh, some additional characters, and, and along with all the additional characters, there is something called EXT. So let me try to zoom it. So zoom it a little bit, a little less. So all my customizer is doing is calling the graph when it loads. So this is the web part here. This is the, the app customizer here. And this is the starting point of the app customizer. And only need when the app customizer starts loading on, uh, before it starts loading and rendering any kind of uh, uh, HTML on the page. Um, I'm using the MS Graph client to execute a query against the graph and grab details about the current user. So I'm accessing that me endpoint to grab the details and in those details is the user principal name here. The user principal name contains that extension in case it's an external user. And if we find that, uh, that piece of text within the user principal, we just don't render the web part. So what I'm here, what I'm saying here is yes, if this is an external user, resolve that on in it and just don't continue further on. Uh, and what it happens is we return here and we never show the customizer that is supposed to render here. Uh, the rest of the code is not very excited. The, the excited part is that I'm using the graph client. So if you're not familiar with the graph client, this is a built-in uh, functionality of the SharePoint framework that we can utilize to call uh, the graph, the Microsoft graph, and get information from there. But before we can call uh, anything related to the graph, as you can see, I can call it from the context of, of, uh, of the application customizer. So dot context, and then you have the graph here, just for your information. And then before we can call the graph even, we have to grant permissions. So that can that customizer will be allowed to access uh, data and, and uh, get data from the graph. So another highlight here is if I go to the package solution, we will see additional property here that says Web API permissions request. So that basically means that application customizer uh, is allowed to access the graph and read users' data. So that being in the package is not enough. Uh, whenever we uh, publish, we uh, 
package everything and deploy it to an app catalog, then we have to approve those permissions. Uh, as we can see, it's, it says permissions requests, it's not permissions granted. So once the package is being deployed, there is another additional step that has to be done for the graph. And it's that's in the admin. Let me just go to the admin panel very quickly to show you where those the, where this has to be approved. So admin like that. And then we go to SharePoint. And uh, open the new. So it, that functionality is not available in the classic uh, screens on the classic screens. So you have to go to the new screens and go to the API management. And in case that's not been approved, I already have approved it. So under the approved category, it's Microsoft Graph user read. So that means that my application will work and it will be able to uh, access the graph. But uh, in your case, if that's never been done, it will be here in the pending. Just some highlights and more on how you can get started with Microsoft Graph. I think I have a video on the Getting Started series here. So that's a video from Paolo that is explaining in more details how you can do that. And I'll just paste it here in the chat. Uh, but in general, the highlight of this demo was to show you how you can hide uh, uh, something from external users. And, and basically, this is the most important piece of, of my web part or of my application customizer. This is application customizer, but the same approach can be taken for a web part in case you just want to hide a web part instead of an extension on the page. So the call is exactly the same. The search is exactly the same. And we say we render or we don't render based on whether you are a guest user or you're not. Um, Bert, I think that's all for me. There's, I have nothing more to, to say here. It's just a very simple sample this time. Yeah, it maybe it's a simple sample, but it's definitely a valuable scenario, villain, because uh, well, everyone nowadays uses external users and, and being able to indeed have your customizations, whether being web part or custom, uh, application customizers, being kind of aware of the context of the user makes a ton of sense. Uh, and the example that you just showed really clearly explains how to do it. So yeah, pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.